what do you want to talk about? Mike was telling us about a fella who's been in here asking questions about me. Yeah, that's right. After the second or third time he came in, I started worrying that he might mean you harm. The next time he was in here, it was almost closing time, so I took off early and followed him when he left. That might not have been wise. The man could be dangerous. <laughs> Sweetie, I stopped worrying about men being dangerous a long time ago. That's just a waste of time and energy for a girl like me. <laughs> Besides, I can take care of myself. Molly pulled her dress up to reveal her bare right leg. There's one on the other leg, too. And I've got a derringer hidden on me to boot. Although I don't think we're quite well enough acquainted yet to show you where that one is. <laughs> I tread the fella to Hanlon's boarding house. You know it, Preacher? Yeah, not exactly a fancy place. Not hardly, but I reckon there's worse in this town. I don't suppose you talk to him? No. I asked Fergus Hanlon about him, but that old cook claimed not to know anything and ran me off. I think he took me for a doxy trying to drum up some business. If I offered him a cut, he might have been more cooperative. That's not what I was after, though. How long's it been since the man came around looking for me? Hmm, three days? Maybe four? You remember when we asked you earlier about a red-headed gal? What about her? You didn't tell us that she was in here asking about me, too. Well, why would I? It's not my job to help other gals find what they're looking for. I've got enough to do to keep up with my own business. So you did see her? Maybe. Do you know where she went? Out of here. That's all I care about. I've got enough competition from the other girls who work for Mike. I don't need more of them wandering enough the street. 